Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Guppy Tub Update Saturday. A bonus Saturday video for you. Has nothing to do with the fact that yesterday's video that I released at 4 p.m. had no sound after a minute and 50 seconds. So I pulled it down. I couldn't fix it. My uh, Even the copy that I have had no sound. It must have happened during rendering or something. There was an error or a glitch or a bug, what have you, but... Moving on, we're going to do a Guppy Tub update. First update since I've been back from Japan a week ago. And, uh, you know, my Guppy Tubs, they s pretty much sit out here with lots of plants, no filtration, no aeration, and boom, lots of babies. <coughs> and the babies usually are pretty colorful. The sun and the delicious buffet of insects helps them grow fast and strong and colorful. So let's look at the first tub. Um, I'm looking forward to pulling everything out of here and actually uh, seeing what the guppies look like in a clear container. I'm going to do that probably in a couple weeks. Um, these are grass guppies, blue and red grass guppies. You can see the um, water lilies are growing quite nice. No flowers, but I, they're not really out here for flowers for me. They're out here because the, um, the roots create a great hiding place for fry. and. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a ton of fry. There's at least two or three drops, I think. Looks like there was another drop recently because those are pretty small. Um, all the plants are doing well. All the fish seem to be doing well. <clears throat> I just call these grass guppies because as you know, um, well, I just said there's blue and red, but red is really the dominant color. And I don't, uh, I'm not yet separating by color. When I bring these inside, I probably will. I have a tank downstairs with grass guppies in it that seem to be 100% females. And <coughs> you know my theory about heat. I do have a heater in there. Um, a couple people told me, you know, give it three, four months before you decide on a sex. Sometimes they change late or they show their male colors late. So we're gonna give it a couple more weeks and uh, hopefully we'll get some males out of those guys but I know there's a couple males in here um, I know there's at least one because I pulled one of my breeder males out of my all male guppy tank to put in here with three or four uh, females so and there's lots of fry I'm pretty happy moving on <coughs> this is a grass gup not a grass guppy a cobra guppy tank I believe I put uh, red and greens out here but I'll have to check. I'll have to check the film. I don't remember. I every last year I said this too. I don't remember what I put in there. Next year I'll, I'll label the tub. Yeah, that didn't happen. You can see lots of fry in here, and uh, duckweed. Love the duckweed. Um, the reason why I love the duckweed is it sucks up nitrates, and uh, goldfish love it. So it's food and delicious and great for fish tanks and guppy ponds. Um, this one. This guppy tub has a lot of uh, green algae in it, this green hair algae, which you can see right here. I don't really know why. I don't really care. I probably won't take many of the plants from this tub inside. You know, this one, the, the this stuff, Kabamba maybe, um, and the guppy grass or the java moss, I'll take inside and put back in tanks. But this stuff, <coughs> I probably won't just because I don't want to bring the green hair algae inside and I don't have any mollies to eat it or anything, so. Yeah, that's that tub. Of course, it's the hot pink tub. Um, our friend Aquamama, uh, Aquama, I guess. Uh, congratulations on your twins. But uh, she calls it a hot pink tub, and I'm going with that too, so. I had plans to add another tub here, but never got around to it. All right, in the blue tub are the red dragon guppies. Maybe. I don't remember. I did lose a female while I was gone. Uh, I found half of a female carcass floating. So I don't see the other female. Maybe she's in there in the weeds getting ready to drop fry or just chilling, hiding out. Or maybe she's still sleeping because it's early. But this is the only tub that doesn't have fry in it. Oh well. Can't be perfect. <clears throat> in the Clarion tub, uh, we've got green water, which is one of the best things for guppy fry. All that greenness is actually nutrition and food for them. And they can eat it 24-7, grow big and strong, 
mama and uh, daddy won't be really trying to eat them uh, because they're also eating it. So this stuff, same thing, lots of uh, duckweed and java moss and what else? Maybe some kabamba. I think that's kabamba, but you know, some people say, oh, I've got green water. I must do water changes. And yeah, if you have a show tank and that's <clears throat> what you want to do, I guess it's okay. But you know, you could just not put light on it for, you know, a couple hours a day less. That didn't come out right. That wasn't English. You could lower the photo period and uh, <clears throat> that would probably get rid of the green water in a couple days naturally. Instead, people, uh, I don't know. It's a whole nother, whole nother rant, I guess. But uh, these guppies are doing well. And these are the uh, red dragon guppies, I think. Maybe those aren't red dragon guppies. I think these are the red dragon guppies, but I can't remember. Lots of fry in there. Looks like there's been two drops from both females, so that's pretty good. All right, moving on to the last guppy tub. This is the uh, mutt guppy tub, and uh, it's doing quite well. You can see the um, water wisteria has taken off. There's a thick, thick layer of it. <clears throat> there's also some java moss. Uh, and it looks like some rickia got in there. As you know, I don't really care. It's great for the fish. It's a great place for them to hide and it eats nitrates. So I just took a couple scoopfuls of uh, of uh, mutts and put them in here. So these are going to be Michael's mutts from outside. Pond mutts. You can see there's a couple different drops of fry in there from the different mamas. Um, looks like that yellow, that gold body yellow female drops from fry because those guys those babies are pretty bright there's like a cobra that i'm trying to follow this one is like is stunning i wish i had a net i want to catch it oh oh i got it look at that can't believe i caught that is a stunning oh he's like screw this i'm going back uh that is a stunning mutt i'm gonna have to investigate him some more but as you know my mutts um they're not culls in that they're they're defective or they have a bent spine just if I'm trying to breed a specific line of guppy, I want to pull the ones that aren't as pure, and I didn't want to just get rid of them, so <clears throat> I put them in a mutt tank. And let's see what happens, is what I said to myself, and you get some pretty awesome colors. And I can offer some affordable, hardy, healthy guppies for those people that don't necessarily want to line breed or breed specific um, strains, if they just want some inexpensive healthy guppies for a community tank or what have you that's what you buy you go to michaelsfishroom.com you check out michael's mutts you get a five pack for 20 bucks that's four dollars a fish it's the same price you see pretty much in petco or pet smart except you know these are going to be well taken care of and hardy and let's just take a look at goldie hi goldie 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 there's goldie all right that's it for the guppy tub update folks hope you guys enjoyed it um tomorrow there will be tomorrow saturday there will be another video coming out with a special unboxing and uh i'm pretty excited about that video so hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon